Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Amirul Azri Bizukarnain, and my matrix number is two zero one nine two eight two five seven four. And I'm from GIM who was zero four eight. So today, uh, I'm gonna make an interview with my one of my friends that uh, will continue her study at uh, University Technology Mara. So I will ask her about her PC and the problem. Let's go. Hello, my name is Muhammad Amirul Azri Bizukarnain, uh, and Thank you for spending your time to uh, interview with me uh, about the specification of PC uh, that are you need for your study. Uh, so at first, uh, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Hello, uh, my name is Nur Emily Sophia and I'm from Johor Bahru. Currently, I get offered of diploma in Graphic Design Art and Digital Media at University Technology Marasha Alam. Uh, may I know, do you use your PC frequently? Yeah, of course. Before this, I'm using PC for editing my photo and videos uh, when I go to holiday. And sometimes, I also will play video games like PUBG and COD wow. on my PC. Yeah, COD? Yeah. Wow. So, I think that you always are using your PC for editing the photo and video, alright? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so uh, may I know, uh, what are the PC that are you use? I mean the details and the specifications of PC uh, that are you use uh, right now. Okay, currently I'm using SS Fire 3 which is the size is 15 inch and the processor that I use is Intel Core i3 6006U and the RAM is 4G only and with graphic card which is Intel HD Graphics 502 and DDR4 graphic card. In terms of storage, I don't use an SSD and only use an HHD hard disk and that has 500 gig and for OS right now, I'm using Windows 10. Uh, is there any problem uh, when you're using your PC? Yeah, of course. And there are some, some problems when I'm using my PC. Sometimes I got stress when I'm doing getting my video and photo and all of a sudden my screen was freeze and, and then my PC will that so I need to restart, restart and restart again if I like it, my editing is still there besides sometimes when I'm playing game on my PC the game will suddenly drop maybe because my CPU are not support anymore oh okay uh, can I know since when you're using your PC? If I'm not mistaken, I'm using my PC since 2019. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, actually, uh, I have an idea and suggestion uh, for you about the, about the certification of PC that I will recommend for you, which is... Emily mentioned before, she right now are facing uh, some difficulties that uh, with her PC. Uh, for example, like when she doing her editing of uh, photos, videos, and else, uh, she face uh, some problem which uh, the her PC will freeze, and sometimes her PC will dead. Besides, uh, when she playing the games on her PC, uh, the games or FPS suddenly drop because her CPU are not uh, support anymore so there are some uh, specifications uh, of PC that I will recommend her to buy which first is uh, I will talk first is about motherboard so the motherboard that I choose is a B550 RS Elite V2 AM4 ATX uh, this motherboard uh, using a uh, AMD Store MI technology, which means the users can experience the best performance, quick and simple. Second, it designed with a uh, DC change, uh, which means it deliver the better and quicker system memory experience to gamers, especially for Sophia because she loves to play the game, so it's suitable for her. Third. Uh, this motherboard now using a 2.5 GBE LAN uh, that are more faster than a 1 GBE networking. So for the most listening audio files, 
this motherboard now using a hi-fi audio system which is the best audio right now so the price of this motherboard is 700 one ringgit and 7, 72 cent so now let's take a move with a computer case so i recommend her to use a armageddon tron 3 uh, which this computer case is a type of a uh, mid tower case with a glass for each uh, side and the color is black this case also have a seven expansion slots and can fit up to five uh, fans it's a lot actually besides it's, sub it's also support a 300 uh, m graphic card support a cpu color cpu cooler and space for 200mm modular PSU the best part of this of this computer case is uh, they have a strip RGB color that we can change it uh, we can change it uh, with our taste so the price of this computer case is 134 ringgit 50 cent now let's move to CPU so I recommend her to use a AMD Ryzen 5 3600 nowadays you can get plenty more cores for your money and the Ryzen 5 3600 is a prime example of that this uh, Ryzen have a 6 core and 12 trick processor and, the, and this Ryzen is a boot using AMD innovative Zen 2 chiplet architecture. Uh, this chip will boost uh, from a base clock, clock at 3.6 GHz to 4.2 GHz, which ensures plenty of speed for gaming, and you will have plenty of calls to hand to pick up the slack in productive and creative applications. And it's also solid mix of everything you need for great all-around gaming PC. So the price of this uh, CPU is a uh, seven hundred and forty-eight ringgit. So now we talk about a system memory. So the system memory that I choose is a Crosshair Vengeance LPX six GB kit. It is a particularly designed to work with the most recent AMD and Intel CPUs. It will aid in optimizing the performance of the Ryzen AM CPU. Even though it does not have uh, any RGB and LED lightning, lighting, it does have uh, some unique features and excellent performance is the uh, most important. And it also has a color that we can choose, which is a black, red gray and blue and and the speed of the system memory is tied from 300 mhz so let's take a move with a graphic card the graphic card that i recommend her to use is a amd radian rx 5700 xt this boot for gaming graphics architecture increase performance per clock by 1.25 times and it automatically squeezing more performance out of the graphic uh, card at stock setting it also have a high quality post processing that can enhance that intelligently uh, consolidate many effects into fewer shader pieces they also have a features uh, of radiant anti-lag which significantly minimize latency which means uh, there are no more lagging and lastly it also have a uh, resulting in ultra fast reaction time so the price of this graphic is uh, 700 ringgit for the hard disk i choose uh, the ud one tb ssd blue nvme m.2 and uh, this hard disk is a type of ssd which are better than hsd and the capacity of the SSD is a 500 GB, uh, which is a quite large for the students. And it helps to monitoring and analyze the health of performance of your SSD. And mostly, the warranty for the SSD is a uh, five years. Uh, and the price of the WSSD Blue is a RM 500 ringgit 75 uh, ringgit. And lastly, I recommend Sofia to use uh, 
the DVD ROM uh, is a amical uh, external DVD drive. Yeah, the drive is simple to set up, simple plug in and go. And this uh, CD external drive with input cable design and small lightweight uh, chassis may be into your travel bag and connect at any time. So the price of this uh, uh, this Amical external DVD is uh, 100 to ringgit uh, 66 uh, cent. Uh, we choose uh, Microsoft Windows 8. We suggest uh, Sophia to use this newest operating system, which is Windows 8, because uh, it has provided their new features for users when they buy this version. For example, like Cortana on desktop, uh, Project Spartan Browser, Improved Multitasking, and Action Center. For the system requirement to Windows 8 is a plus one processor uh, need a 1 gigahertz or faster processor or system or chip. Second is uh, the RAM need to more than 1 gigabyte for 32 bit or a 2 gig for 64 gig. For hard drive space, it needs a 16 gig uh, for 32 bits or S, 3D gigs for 64 bits or S. So the display also have to need uh, 800 per 600. The price of this uh, window 8 is uh, 496 ringgit. So let's move to authoring software, which we choose uh, Microsoft Office 365 for Sophia because this uh, authoring software is extremely complex than capable workspace. Uh, this Microsoft tools provide more formatting freedom uh, and capabilities than Google Space. Second, the Microsoft uh, 365 makes it simple for members of the team collaborate. Uh, for example, like multiple team members are working on the same file at the same time. Third, this Office 365 didn't need uh, the internet connectively since Microsoft 365 include desktop programs uh, which you can work it or online or offline and quickly send to the cloud once you have an online connection. So uh, there are some applications that are, have been in this Microsoft 365 for example like uh, Excel, Word, uh, PowerPoint, OneDrive, Microsoft Team, SharePoint and Skype. So the price of this uh, Microsoft 365 is 287 ringgit 55 sin. So now let's move to Adopt Creative Cloud. So like uh, Sophia told me that he that he will studies uh, in editing and graphic. So uh, I recommend her to use a uh, Adopt. Uh, Creative Cloud, which is the best software for design and editing video, is suitable for her. Uh, the Adobe Creative Cloud preserves many of the features of the Adobe uh, Creative uh, Suite while also introduce a new ones. The most important uh, and the most uh, important features in this Adobe is uh, of uh, availability of updates cloud storage and easy sharing. As in this Adobe Creative Cloud, there are 20 apps that are available in this Adobe once the buyer buy this Adobe, which is, I will uh, give the example, uh, such as Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Room, InDesign, Adobe Stock, Illustrator, and Spark. And there are more, and there are more than this. So these apps will surely help Sophia when she are doing her editing video, uh, make a poster, and also uh, for her project in the future. So the price of this adult is quite expensive, which is uh, 977 ringgit 89 cent. Now let's take a look at uh, the input device that I suggest for Sophia to buy, which is keyboard uh, which, uh, which is the brand is a uh, HyperX Allo Origin Core 
So let's see the specification of this uh, keyboard which first is a HyperX mechanical uh, switches uh, Second is full aircraft grade aluminium body Third is ultra compact TKL design detachable this USB type C cable And the last one is it can be adjust the angle keyboard fit which uh, have a three type And that will make comfortable for users So the price of this keyboard is a 458 ringgit so uh, let's move to the mouse so the brand of mouse is a uh, Corsair Sabre RGB Pro so the specification of this mouse is uh, it have a uh, having a right hand form two left side buttons and a matte black uh, plastic body with a little runners for enhanced group and this uh, mouse also have a uh, very broad CPI range and you may add uh, to setting up in one step increment and the highest poly rate is 800Hz which aid in smoother mouse movement so the price of this mouse is a 240 ringgit 71 sen so let's move to uh, output device so the pc monitor i choose a benq mobius uh, x52710 uh, which they have a hdri intelligent optimization stunning clarity hdri uh, intelligent control i care for extend play for decreased eye strain and head chase and the uh, last one is superior to sound by Trivolo uh, and the price of this PC monitor is uh, 1,263 ringgit 99 sen uh, next is a speaker so I choose uh, the Logitech Z407 uh, which uh, the speaker dimension is 7.87 height 3.7 weight and 3.35 uh, inches uh, this part of by using Bluetooth function, this speaker also have a wired connection which is micro USB cable that uh, capable. Uh, each speaker surface uh, is a smooth and free of gloss accent as well as the design are more constant. So the price of this uh, speaker is a uh, three hundred ninety nine ringgit. So the last one is a headphone. So uh, I recommend uh, Sofia to use a Razer Black Shark V2. This is because th this headphone have so many features that are uh, interesting. Which first is uh, have a Razer Triforce Titanium 50M driver, Razer Hyperclear cardio mic with USB sound card that you may further customize and improve your voice output, and passive noise cancelling intelligent. Uh, which you can get rid from all unnecessary voice and you can focus on gaming or music uh, and the last one is a uh, ear cushion in the float knit memory foam uh, which is uh, can reduce sweat and head blood caused by skin connection so the price of uh, Razer Black Shark V2 is uh, 406 ringgit 69 sen so let's take a look at uh, the pricing consideration so I will show you the uh, table of the tabletop uh, of the pricing consideration that I have calculated. Now, as you can see, uh, the total of the pricing uh, PC set, this is a uh, uh, almost seven thousand eight hundred and eighty-six ringgit seventy-three sen. So, as conclusion, uh, Sophia always uh, think that she have a problem with her PC. Uh, which when she doing the editing the video or photos uh, the PC will getting uh, freeze and sometimes it will dead and besides when she playing the games the FPS of the games are uh, suddenly drop because the CPU uh, cannot handle it anymore so with my suggestion on the PC specification that I have list uh, I hope that uh, Sophia of the Sophia's problem uh, will be solved uh, immediately and with the regard to the total price that has been calculated the budget for setting up this PC has been minimized even though the most of proper items that are latest version so that's all the, spe the specification of PC that uh, I list and recommend for you so what do you think? I don't mind about the price because I know to set up PC is quite expensive, you know. Right. So I think that it is, it is the best for me, especially when I'm doing assignment project when I start step. Okay, that's all uh, for today. Uh, thank you for spending your time with me.
give you your your PC. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure you would.